Hi everyone, my name is Sun Yang and the paper is co-authored by Andy Liu and Professor Hong Yi Li. The title is Understanding Self-Attention of Self-Supervised Audio Transformers. Here is our outline. I'm going to first give a background of our work and then introduce our methods and finally the conclusion. Self-supervised audio transformer, SAT, is about adapting NLP BERT into speech domain. BERT is composed of several transformer blocks and originally be trained on huge amount of text by a mask language model loads. Speech BERT changes the input from text to speech signal. While plenty of works have been done to study the internal function of BERT, it is still on explore how self-attention work for speech data. Here are some recently proposed methods for speech representation learning starting from two years ago. Some key differences are pointed out, which are the input data format and the main architecture excluding the feature extraction part and the pre-training loads. As we can see, there is a clear emergence of adopting self-attention by the gray squares, and many of them are pre-trained with the continuous factors and reconstruction loads. So we focus on these settings to understand the functionality of self-attention on speech data. Specifically, we follow Mockingj, which is open source. Mockingj extracts the acoustic features from waveform and then downsampling by some ratio. During the mask language model pre-training, a range of features are masked, specified by the pre-training mask length. After propagating through BERT, representations are linearly projected and compared to the linear spectrogram with L1 loss. After pre-training, representations are used on downstream tasks. Some tasks are frame label where each acoustic frame has a label, like phoneme classification. Some tasks are O-trans label. The entire O-trans gets a single label, like speaker recognition. And next, we go on for the analysis. We start by visualizing self-attention. The core of BERT architecture is the transformer block, which is composed of multiple self-attention heads, and blocks are cascaded. Here, we will focus on a single attention head for easier discussion. By feeding the output sequence of the previous transformer block, we get output representation after self-attention. Each single output is pretty much formed by the weighted sum of input features, where those weights depend on the relation between the query factor and other key factors, which is learned by self-attention mechanism. In fact, attention weights are normalized as a distribution, and each query factor has its own attention distribution. We can visualize a head by an attention map, which summarizes the attention distribution for all queries in different timestamps. So there are majorly three categories, global, vertical, and diagonal. Intuitively, diagonal attentions attend to neighbor frames on each query. Vertical attentions attend to some fixed location independent of query in an O-trans, and global attentions behave randomly. All attention maps are visualized in our demo page. Some diagonal attentions are highly focused. They are easily interpretable since neighbor frames are in no doubt helpful for reconstruction, because speech signal is continuously varying. Interestingly, they typically avoid the main diagonal, either shift to left or right. And as we increase the pre-training mask length, we obtain a larger shift. This suggests that attentions are aware of pre-training mask length and avoid the masked 
features which are not helpful for reconstruction. Some diagonal tensions are block diagonal. We find that they learned phoneme boundaries, and we verified this with phoneme segmentation. Using timid dataset, we have ground truth phoneme boundaries labeled by the professional. Boundaries are symmetric on x and y axis. Since yellow and green frames are located at the same phoneme interval, all frames in this interval can be helpful for both of them to reconstruct. And their attention distribution can therefore be very similar, resulting in the block structure. And we extract the ages of blocks to examine their correlation to true phoneme boundaries. We follow the segmentation algorithm proposed by Bati for both MFCC and attention distributions. Then we evaluate the segmentation by precision recall and R value, which is a dedicated metric for phoneme segmentation. And both results show that the block diagonal tensions indeed learned the phoneme boundaries as it is a strong feature compared to the widely used MFCC under the same algorithm. And next, we understand the vertical and global attentions by phoneme relation map. The map summarized ahead as given an input phone, which phone will the head attend to? So to find out the preference of B attending to N, we iterate over all utterances and sum up attention weights whose query frame belongs to B and key frame belongs to N. For example, there's one attention weight belongs to B attending to N in O trans X and four in O trans Y. We sum them up as the preference of B attending to N of this hat. After careful normalization and plotting out the preference of all possible phoneme relations, we obtained a phoneme relation map where the bright color represents preference and the dark color represents the opposite. So some operations can be observed. As for vertical heads, there's an, there's an tendency for focusing on specific phonemes or neglecting them for all queries. The first head uh, attends to silence and the second head always neglects silence. The third head attends to some phones which are articulated very similarly according to the IPA table. Particularly, they are articulated at the same place with slightly different manners. And the last head neglects the phone. As for global attentions, the first head represents that silence attends to silence and ignores the others and the speech part ignores silence and attends to speech. The second head represents the opposite, that silence ignores silence and attends to speech, while speech attends to silence. The third head represents attending to identity, which are frames belonging to the same phoneme as the query. The last head represents the opposite, not attending to identity as the negation. All phoneme relation maps are visualized in our demo page. Given the different functionality of three categories, we wish to answer which one is more important. Hence, we quantify attention heads with three metrics, globalness, verticality, and diagonality. Since the detailed mathematical definitions of metrics are hard to follow, we will directly visualize the attention maps ranked by these three metrics, and one can refer to our paper for the definitions. 
Here are the top 18 heads according to the diagonality. And the top 18 heads for verticality, the top 18 heads for globalness. So we ranked the importance by cumulative pruning. In the beginning, representations are used to train a small model for downstream task, said phoneme classification, and we get an accuracy of about 70, for example. If we prune an attention head by setting attention weights to all zeros, representations are corrupted, and we expect performance drop when used on downstream task. When more heads are pruned, performance drops more severely. Moreover, we expect that if we pruned an important head first, the performance drop should be slower compared to the pruning important head first. So the question becomes, which metrics cause the pruning curve dropped faster? We conduct two downstream tasks to evaluate representations, phoneme classification and speaker recognition. Both are trained on LibreSpeech Train 100 clean subset and test on test clean subset. Phoneme labels are obtained from Montreal Forest Aligner. Phoneme classification is conducted at frame level with one hidden layer DNN, and speaker recognition is conducted at frame and O trans label. Typically, we only need to recognize speakers given the entire O-trans. However, we are also interested in how much of speaker information can be encoded in each single frame. Given that we pre-trained marking J by reconstruction loads, which prefers encoding as many details as possible, and the self-attention mechanism can entangle the whole sequence of information into a single frame. The model of Ultrans label uses mean pooling followed by one linear layer. Here is the pruning results. Lines with dots are conducted at frame level, and lines with crosses are in Ultrans label. First, diagonal tension is the most important. Pruning them uh, has significant impact on both tasks. Second, both vertical and global attention have little contribution to phoneme classification. Even more, pruning them can help the performance. For vertical attention, combining with previous findings, this might due to that vertical heads can entangle distant phones into the current query making downstream classifier hard to distinguish the original phoneme signal of raw input. If we look at speaker recognition, we found vertical attentions have huge impact on speaker identity in each frame. Pruning them quickly hurt the performance. In a more common old translate setting, we can even only consider diagonal attention as essential, since speaker Identity affected by pruning can be mostly recovered by simple mean pooling. Finally, we conclude that more than 50% of heads can be pruned and boost the performance on phoneme classification without sacrificing speaker identity in o trans level when we following the globalness metric. So, in conclusion, when adopting self-attention on continuous input with reconstruction loads, self-attentions have the following properties. Phoning phonetic information is handled by diagonal attentions and they are aware of either pre-training mask length or phoning boundaries. Vertical attentions help speaker identity in each frame but harm phonetic information. And there are two behaviors focus or neglect specific phonemes. Some operations can be observed in global attentions, but they have the least impact on representation quality, and more than 50% of heads can be pruned following globalness metric and improve performance. The end, and thank you for listening. Here are our references.